Question. On the 1st of November 2018, after paying respect to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the image of Guanping Bodhisattva emitted a golden glow. The solemn-looking Guandi Bodhisattva told me to deliver a scroll to the underworld. It was a case involving a disciple of Guanyin Sitta, who was being punished in the Hell Realm. While resting after returning home, my soul was brought to the underworld to meet the King of Hell. A male offender was kneeling on the ground, with scars all over his body. After paying my respect, I handed the scroll to the king and stood to the side. The king opened it, began to look solemn, and declared, Currently, heaven views with considerable concern those Guanyin Sitta practitioners, especially disciples, who break their vows of practicing vegetarianism, commit sexual misconduct, or defame Buddhism. Should they fail to repent, Guandi Bodhisattva, the chief Dharma protecting Bodhisattva of Guanyin Sitta Dharma Door, will order his subordinate Dharma protectors to mete out harsh punishments. The underworld will then act, in accordance with the instructions of heaven, to arrest practitioners who have violated Buddhist precepts. Pointing at the kneeling offender, the king of hell said, when this offender was alive, he was a disciple of your master, Jun Honglu. He vowed before Guanyin Bodhisattva to be a vegetarian for life and practice celibacy together with his wife. However, barely a few years after practicing Buddhism, he no longer took the precepts seriously. He broke his vows and resumed eating meat. He even went to the extent of forcing his wife, who had pledged celibacy, to have intimate relations with him. Soon after, he stopped practicing Buddhism altogether, and even uttered malicious slander about Guanyin Sitta Dharma Door. All of these are severe offenses. He was suddenly taken ill, and at the time of dying showed not a single shred of remorse for his misdeeds. When he was brought here, he even blamed his wife for bringing him into Buddhism and causing him to break many Buddhist precepts. He even said heaven and the underworld treated him unfairly. Do you know how merciful Guanyin Bodhisattva is towards you ignorant people who are plagued by negative karma? Your master is merciful as he tries to help you become spiritually awakened, yet you go on criticizing Buddhism. Before you practiced Buddhism, you were lustful and even committed the karma of killing while eating meat, drinking, and verbally abusing others. You were supposed to suffer from the retribution of your evil karma, and your body was enshrouded completely in dark energy. Indeed, you had accumulated insufficient positive karma. Had your wife not brought you into Buddhism, and encouraged you to recite Buddhist scriptures, practice vegetarianism and perform life liberation, you would have perished long ago. Guanyin Bodhisattva showed you mercy and sent a formal letter to the underworld pleading for leniency on your behalf. After you have served the term of your punishment in the Hell Realm, you will still be reborn into a poor family in the Human Realm. This is all due to the meritorious deeds you carried out in your lifetime, including reciting Buddhist scriptures and sharing Buddhism with others. Otherwise, those who betray their teachers and are devoid of gratitude are sent to the animal realm, after their punishment in hell is over, with no chance of hearing the Buddha Dharma. On his knees, the offender wailed incessantly, desperately pleading with the king of hell, I was wrong. I have been constantly repenting while in hell. The punishments were excruciatingly painful. I was first transferred to the tongue-ripping hell, then to the hell of excrement, and the hell of burning flame. The punishments were unbearable. Guanyin Bodhisattva and the Dharma protectors, please have mercy on me. The King of Hell, please show leniency towards me. In light of the meritorious deeds that I had done when alive, I hope that this experience of mine can be shared online to caution all Guanyin Sitta disciples and fellow Buddhists against repeating the same mistakes that I made. I beg for the Dharma protecting Bodhisattva's mercy and please let me out of hell sooner. It's too painful.
I am begging Gwen Yin Bodhisattva for your mercy. Please have compassion on me. Sighing, the King of Hell allowed me to return to the human realm. A wave of golden light enveloped my entire body, and I was sent back. Master Jun Honglu reply. When she first mentioned the offender, I already knew who he was. Don't play the fool. Practicing Buddhism is no joking matter. You must respect the master.